in the wheel. The first subject is exercise. Who wants to come in that? Ed. Uh, I ran the London Marathon this year. <laughs> Thank you. That was an absolutely amazing reception from you guys. Thank you very much. There was an awkward pause. Two people thought, I better fill that and go, ooh. And the rest of you collectively just went with, well, we could not give a shit. Thank you very much. <laughs> Uh, we saw that on television. Thousands of people did that. <laughs> also, it was in April. How about you? Move on with your life. <laughs> also, of course you ran the London Marathon. You are a white middle-class man in his early 30s. That's what you do. <laughs> and you're right, that is the most basic first step on the most basic posh man life ever. I can live my whole life on tracks now if I wanted to. That's how it goes. Marathon, marriage, kid, sleep with the au pair, divorce, crocs, death. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> Did it for charity, uh, because I'm a great guy. Uh, I... <laughs> and you sort, you sort of have to. Uh... <laughs> the charity I did it for was a type 1 diabetes charity. Uh, before you think I'm too good of a human being, we'll let you know that I am type 1 diabetic, so I will see that money eventually. <laughs> Very much playing the long game with that cash. <laughs> I actually enjoyed the marathon, though, uh, for one specific reason. Every few miles, there was groups of people stood there with blue rubber gloves on, with globs of Vaseline on the ends of their fingers, like this. <laughs> now, at the time, I had no idea that they were employed by the marathon. <laughs> You're supposed to run past them, take Vaseline, rub it on any areas of chafage. I had no idea they were supposed to be there. To me, that just looked like some sort of horrendous motivational technique. <laughs> You better keep running, boy. <laughs> you better pick up the pace. <laughs> Otherwise, it's examination time. <laughs> you got an appointment with Dr. Fingers. <laughs> Thank you very much.